my dear students how can you find out an acceleration in both the cases without using free body diagram because free body diagram will waste a lot of your time i have got a simple logic what is that logic let us take case one here a uh, simple logic is acceleration is nothing but uh, net force by net mass so here if you observe in the first case only mass m2 is hanging so net force is because of hanging mass only resting mass will not apply any force because gravity is counterbalanced by normal reaction so what is the answer for this an acceleration of the first system is nothing but net force which is hanging is considered to be m2g by total mass you have to consider that is m1 plus m2 if you substitute the values of m1 and m2 you get an acceleration immediately okay so now for example if at all is asking us to find out even tension also we can find out the tension also very easily because as this block is coming downwards whenever tension of a body which is moving downwards is taken as m into g minus a whenever a body moves upwards then we have to consider this as m into g plus a okay so moving down tension becomes subtraction moving upwards tension adds up that's why g plus a this is for the first system what about the second system which is having an inclined plane how are you going to find an acceleration here also same logic acceleration is considered to be acceleration is considered to be net force by net mass here so as is an inclined plane net force is because of both but as this is coming downwards this is raising upwards along the inclined plane you can just write acceleration is nothing but 2mg minus the one which is hanging downwards as in an inclined plane you know that the force acting here in this case is mg sin theta mg sin theta by net mass m and m2 is taken as m here so you can just write here 2m uh, plus 2m that's it m plus 2m so an acceleration is going to become how much here you can common out m you'll be writing now uh, 2m okay 2g minus g sin theta divided by m if you common out you'll be getting 1 plus 2 that is 3 so mm gets cancelled if you want you can just common out even g also therefore 2 minus sin theta divided by 3 so this is going to be our shortcut method to find out acceleration without using any free body diagram hope you have enjoyed this thank you